Jong. Who is responsible for allowing this man animal to run around unsupervised? The man animal shot the Wrangler, sir. I'm a little pressed for time. Why don't you save the going away jokes for later? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Superfuse. This should be a pretty short video. The developers dropped a new dev diary update talking about a new area we're going to be exploring. And I thought it was video worthy. I have not given up on Superfuse yet. Now, if you have not heard of this title, this is an isometric action RPG, a hack and slash, a Diablo clone, however you want to put it. And it has Borderlands style visuals. And unfortunately, it had a really rough early access launch and they're going to be trying to bring the player base down. So let's do a check in and see what is going on with Superfuse. Dev Diary Earth. Let's talk a bit about our new act Earth. We're going to be going to Earth. We're going to be checking out what happened and fighting the corrupted. Ooh, ah, I actually feel there's lots of potential in this game. I just can't let it go. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just read the update and thought it was video worthy. OK, all right. So let's see what's going on during the development of Earth. We place a significant emphasis on creating distinct environmental contrasts, ensuring that each region offers a unique and captivating experience. Prepare to step into a world of desolation and hope where your actions will shape the fate of this once thriving world. Ooh. And you could definitely tell here with the image that they used, obviously very distinct in the environments and the colors and just what they built around. OK, so far, so good. With the up and coming update, players will respond to a distress call from Earth originating from a post apocalyptic town of New Eden. Moved by the plea for help, they embark on a courageous mission to aid the town's forgotten populace in the fight against Earth's corruption. OK, so Superfuse is going to drop its new update and we're going to be responding to a distress call. Tale as old as time. How many movies have been uh, built with this same narrative? A lot. Upon reaching New Eden, players immediately face a harsh reality. The wastelands are not only plagued by the corrupted, but also infested with dangerous raiders who think of themselves as apex predators of humanity, preying on what they perceive to be weaker settlers. These cunning adversaries come in various types, each presenting unique challenges that demand specific approaches. In the up and coming section, we'll give you a sneak peek of some of the dangers to come. Again, tale as old as time. Not only when civilization falls do we have to fight the corrupted, but then you also have to fight each other because we immediately turn on ourselves, turn into monsters. Literally exactly what would happen. When creating Earth's enemies, our primary aim was to ensure their behavior truly stood out from one another, making each encounter feel different from the last. As you venture into the barren world, you'll encounter a diverse range of adversaries varying from colossal and highly menacing foes with more telegraphed attacks to agile, nimble raiders who can strike you down in an instant. I see. And the example here is a gun. Guitar? No, it's not a gun. It's like an axe. It's an axe guitar. And that's pretty cool. Some of these enemies are not just seeking survival, but are eager to shred their way through the apocalypse, wielding guitars as their instruments of chaos. Prepare for an electrifying encounter with these audacious foes who bring a whole new level of excitement to the wastelands by strengthening their allies with the power of heavy metal. Thank you for joining us today on the Dev Diary. We hope you're enjoying the deep dive and we can't wait to have you with us on the next one. See you soon, Enforcers. OK, told you it would be a fairly short video. Now, recently they put out a what's next for Superfuse and I already made a video on this. Just talking about how the autumn update is going to be huge. New heroes, new chapter, Earth, which is what we just covered. Uh, new modifications, new bosses, new enemies, new levels, new towns, new quests, and then just a whole slew of improvements. So I don't want to go on record and say for sure when this drops, we're going to dedicate some time to it. But at bare minimum, I'll log in, 
see how the bugs are doing and uh, cover fan reaction. See if we get some people back. But I'm hoping I could dedicate some time to this autumn update. So that's where we're at with Superfuse. Did you get a chance to play this game? Are you happy you get to return to a corrupted earth and fight baddies? Will this bring you back? Does it look cool? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I leave in two days for Germany for Gamescom. And for those eight days, I'll be trying to upload and doing lots of different things, including mobile IRL streams at Gamescom. I got my whole setup. I'm going to be doing some tests over the next couple of days to make sure we're ready to rock. But it should be so much fun. So stay tuned. I cannot wait for the next eight days. That's all I've got. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Erin, out. Thank you.